everyone welcome back to my channel once again as you can see from the title today I'll be showing you a what's on my phone what's on my LG G4 so without further ado let's just hop on right into the video the phone that I have currently is the LG G4 so it's this phone right here so it is kind of big it's a 5.5 inch screen i believe so the first thing i'll show you is the actual case on the phone so this is the case that i have and it is the um it's called the brilliance case by casemate okay so when you turn the phone on it just has morgan ariel that's the lock screen wallpaper so i'm just going to type in my password here is my phone let's kind of zoom in right here and it's like a shattered glass effect that's what my wallpaper is for this widget right here this is the clock widget this one it's basically an app and you can look in the play store and it's um it's called one more clock widget so we can just look it up real quick right here so we can go into play store and just type in one more clock widget i have it right here so it's this first one right here one more clock widget so these are the icons that i have i have facebook YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, the basic social media apps. And then below that is um, camera, gallery, and I have Play Store, and the internet thingy web that's Chrome. And then this one right here, that's just Spotify. And then below that, I just have like the basic, the, the very, very basic one. So like call, contacts, and then this button right here, that's just a list of my apps. So when I click on that, it just has like a bunch of apps that I have. And then this one is just my um, texting. And this is just my settings. And if you're curious as to how I got these um, glittery looking icons out, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. It's an app that I use. Um, I'll show you that in just one second. The next page, I have just this ghoul widget at the very top. And then right below that, I just have my email. And then I have maps, that's the heart one. And then I have Amazon, my calculator, and then Google. And I have Coco PPA, which is how I change my icons. And then I have, um, what is that called? Pinterest. And then this star is just like Yak, which is, um, it's basically um, for college students, but I don't want to open it. So it's like Twitter, but everything is anonymous. So if I were to post something, nobody would know it was me. So that's basically what Yik Yak is. And then I have Messenger, which I'm going to delete because I'm going to show you guys how to get, uh, show you guys how to do the icon. Let's go into Coco PBA. So I'm going into it right now. You just search for any kind of icon that you want. So the app name right here. So we want Messenger. That's the one I just deleted. And then you scroll down and press narrow search and then you just have like a bunch of ones that you um that you want to look for and we're going to choose it and basically when you choose it you can just choose from a list of icons and messenger is right there so there's messenger and it can just be placed right on my on my screen I'm not sure if I describe what Pinterest is because I really think that most people know what it is but in case you're not really familiar it's like I don't really know how to describe it but it's like where people have all these ideas or recipes or just uh tips and tricks and diys and all this stuff and they just post it and you could just like go through all of them and just like pick out anything oh i have the basic clock which i have so many alarms it's ridiculous let me know in the comments if you're just like me and you need to set several alarms just to wake yourself up so i just have this folder and this is basically like the lifestyle shopping folder. So you can see it has Target, H&M, um, Poshmark, which is basically it's like a Play-Doh's closet, but it's online. And then The Hunt is a really another cool app. If you see an item, a piece of clothing, and you can describe it, and like people can basically, like basically you could take a picture of something that you like and have people search for the item for you and these are basically all the people all the like things people are searching for so like this girl says this belt because she probably doesn't know what it's called um flora roshis like you could search um a specific type of shoe or one that might not be on the website but like somebody sells them 
I think pretty much a lot of people know what pink is. And then I have Forever 21, which everybody knows. And then Winelo. And it's like a bunch of things like that are trending right now and you can just buy them. So I know this is a popular item that people have been wearing. And you can save it, you could buy it. And then I have eBay, who doesn't know what eBay is. And then I have Etsy, which is like Poshmark, but I wanna say it's like for homemade stuff. And I have Ulta, which is a store. And then Pinterest, NYX, Retail Me Not, which is a bunch of coupons. You just search a store and they literally have coupons. Like if you don't have this app, please get it. Cartwheel saves a lot of money too, cause it's like coupons online on a bunch of stuff. So that's really awesome. And then I have Urban Outfitters, Vinted, which is like exactly like Poshmark, it, like exactly like Poshmark. We Heart It, which is where I get a lot of my um, wallpapers from. And I have Bella Buy, to be honest. I don't know what that is. I wanna say it's like Winalo. I don't know, it's, it's another shopping app. Shopping app. And then I have PacSun and then Ibotta, which is like, um, it's basically rebates so if you go shopping at at like um any location it's like target Publix, walmart they'll have a list of items where like you can buy it in the store and get money back and then this is just my google folder and then this is my music folder so i have pandora netflix who doesn't know what netflix is vine who doesn't really know what vine is if you don't have vine but like if you need to laugh if you need a laugh please download vine People are on there are so hilarious. It's not even funny. And then I have BuzzFeed and Awesomeness TV. Um, musically, I honestly don't know what that is. <laughs> um, Go90. I just used this to watch this thing. It was called Guidance with um. It was a YouTuber, um, Amanda Steele. It was the show was called Guidance. I actually finished watching watching it yesterday. It was pretty good. And then I have ringtone ringtone maker, which is self-explanatory. And then Periscope. It's like live streaming and then i have smule sing which is like a karaoke app and it's like the best the best karaoke app like if you're bored that's like the best thing to get i was just doing it five minutes ago i'm not even kidding and then um studio is very useful because it's like um it's a separate a separate app for youtube but it's really just for you like for your user inf information so it tells you um your subscriber count, um, your analytics, you can reply to comments, you can do all that stuff on um, the studio app. And this is like my school app, so I have um, school apps, check my grades and all that stuff. And then I have Lyft and Uber, which are like taxi, not taxi, but um, well yeah, they're like taxis. It's safe and you pay on the app and you have, um, you had them, um, promo codes and everything so i'll put a code on the screen so um if you download the app you can use my code and you can get i believe 20 like a 20 dollar credit i'll put it on the screen if you're interested in that and then i just have um, food starbucks dominoes papa john's dunkin donuts and then topingo order up and postmates it's basically like you order online so it's like an uber but with food this is just spotify so when i'm listening to music i could easily pause play pause skip all that good stuff and then this is shazam so it picks up music around you so that's what's on that screen i already talked about what was on this screen i just have a calendar which is it's just to look at the calendar but um that's pretty much what's on my phone if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, share, favorite, whatever you want to do. And if you want to see more of me, make sure you check out my channel. Hopefully, maybe I can squeeze another video in 2015. But I don't know. If I don't see you in 2015, then I hope you have a safe New Year's. And I'll see you in 2016. Bye, guys.